Hello and welcome to my latest altered book project. This one's been made, well it will be made, out of a book, a vintage book, that's called A Tall Ship. And I thought that what I would do with this um, project is to make a series of quite short videos. So this should only be about six or seven minutes long. And so I'll show a series of pictures with what I did, my techniques and my decisions, and you can see the finished page at the end. So do give me feedback on what you think about these um, videos. And here you can see how I've altered the cover. I've blanked it all out with gesso, leaving the words all art. And on the right is the pages that I took out of this book. So I've already been through and I've removed about a third to half of the book. This is the first page, um, the original page, as it was in the book. So I looked through the page and I picked out some words that I thought would be good. I was quite pleased to find the following sketches contain pure imagination. A few are composite because I intend to do um, collage. So I thought that was really appropriate. And as this is a sort of um, in the style of Tom Phillips, I know that that's what he used to do. He used to sort of pick out words that he wanted to leave on the page and they would perhaps inspire the picture that he put on that page. So I'm kind of following um, his lead on that. But I wanted to include a lunar moth. So here I have um, traced it and transferring it to the page. I'm quite sort of keen on lunar moths at the moment. I just think they're really beautiful. So that's why it's going in. And here it is on the page. So the next thing was to use gesso to blank out the bits I wanted to blank out and I used various size brushes so sometimes you have to get in quite small and quite delicate. Here you can see I've gone all over the page apart from the, the words and the moon and the uh, moth. On this one I just outlined the words to make them clearer and put the outline in for where I wanted to put the black. Here's the black paint has gone in. Again I'm following Tom Phillips style. He quite often creates these boxes um, and it's really effective for making the words stand out. I've gone round the edge using a Daniel Smith watercolour and it's moon glow. And I'm, normally I really like the colour but it's come out a bit wishy-washy so I change it and you'll see what happens in a minute. I felt that the um, moth needed to be coloured. So after doing the white of the moon with gesso, I came in and I used Tombow pink along the top of the moth. I used Copic green color um, to do the actual moth. And then I used a liner, a black liner. I also used white charcoal pencil to highlight parts of the moth and make it sort of glowing. And here is the finished picture. 
So I do hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you will be encouraged to have a go yourself. I think it requires quite a lot of patience to carefully fill in around the shapes. Um, it's very absorbing and yeah I really enjoyed doing it myself and uh, it'll be interesting to see what the other spreads come out as. So if you've enjoyed this please think about subscribing and following me, um, like it and share and you can find me on Instagram as well, I'll put the link in the comments. So yeah I'd love to hear what you think of this and whether you're going to have a go and if you are going to have a go do share a link, I'd love to see it. Okay bye for now, stay safe and keep happy, keep arting.